hello welcome back so in this tutorial we are actually going to make three parts in this one video because the parts doesn't take that long to make so i'm just going to combine all of them in this video so the first one we are going to make is the direction pin so make sure you save it as the direction pin so i'm just going to click on the front plane sketch and let's draw a line going down something like this and make sure add a dimension to this line which is going to be 0.52 and add another dimension to this which is going to be 0 0.035 and that is fully defined and make sure this line and that origin point are the same then draw another line and draw another line going up like that and make draw an arc like that and just click those two points and drag it somewhere over it and make this arc and that line coincident with each other and let's add a radius to that arc which is going to be 0 0.066 and also add a, um, a dimension over here which is going to be 0 0.065 and that is our part so let me change my units again click OK and that is the dimension and all you do is just from here revolve it and you are done and that is the direction pane. So save this part as a direction pane and we are going to move on to the next one. So the next one is a bolt. So we're going to start a new part. And on the top plane, sketch and draw a circle on the top plane. The circle is going to be 0.15 and extrude extrude it down extrude it going down and is is going to be 0 0.05 so i have 0 0.15 0 0.05 going down click ok click on the top face draw a sketch another sketch and draw a circle and this circle is going to be 0 0.125 and extrude this circle down as well and you're going to be extruding this 0 0.541 0 0.541 down like that and click ok um, let's add a chamfer to it so click chamfer um, the chamfer size is going to be 0 0.005 over here and add it to this edge and add it to the bottom edge click ok and the next thing we want to do is on this top face sketch number two and let's draw this polygon it's going to be a six size polygon something like that make sure this point and that point are vertical to each other and now Add a dimension from this line to that line which is going to be 0 0.075 so you have something like that and extrude it extrude cut down going down and it is going to be 0 0.008 and click OK so we are almost done with this the next thing we need to do is add a fillet to it so you're just gonna add a, a fillet and the fillet size is going to be 0 0.001 and let me select this face first select that face select that face select this face and select that face so you pretty much select all the face on the inside um, just select all the face so that way you have all the sketches all the edge the fillets on all the edge and click OK 
and you have your fillet in and you are done with this part make save excuse me save this part as a bolt save it as a bolt and you can add any appearance you want to it over here so you can add a polished steel to this as well um, and we are moving on to the next one the next one is going to be the ball this is the retention ball so click new part and click ok and on the let's draw that on the right plane it doesn't really I mean it does matter but for this one let's just do it on the right plane draw a, a midpoint line over here like that and draw a knack or, or what you could have done is let's do it this way so I show you the different ways of making it let's delete that you can also draw a circle this is how I should have done it and draw a line from that quadrant to this quadrant and make sure that line and the origin point is the line and the origin point make sure they are coincident and you can trim one part of it off and and let me try this trick I hope it works or else it's probably gonna make a liar out of me did you guys know if you I'm just going to add a dimension to my ball force 0.09 it's 0 0.095 times 2 so my dimension it should be point point one let me change my units again um, units three decimal places and click OK so my dimension for it is 0.19 did you know if you're even if you have a full circle even if you want to revolve it you can still extrude it if you click extrude not extrude revolve it doesn't work this time but I know I've done it before I just need to figure out how to do it but anyway um, if I figure out what I'm trying to explain I'll definitely show you later on in another tutorial video but it's making a lie out of me this time so let's just do it this way and trim it out and feature revolve it and click OK and that is the ball so that is done add a material to it save it as a retention ball and we are moving on to the last one the last one is going to be the retention pin so click new part OK and on the front plane let's draw a sketch and just draw a shape like this something like that coming down and make sure that is vertical something like this so we're going to add a dimension to it and this will be 0.124 and this will be 0.125 this dimension will be 1.051 and we need one more and this dimension will be 0 0.085 so once we have something like that we are uh, let me delete this extra sketch over there now we are going to revolve it and click ok and now we want to do what we want to do is add the um, fillet to so the top and the bottom part is 0 0.01 fillet here and here and click OK and let's go normal to and we want to select that front plane again and click sketch and now we just want to draw a, a shape over here which is going to go something like this coming down an angle coming down an angle and going up so draw something like that we add a dimension to this this is going to be 0 0.09 
and this dimension from here to that edge is going to be 0 0.04 and um, we add another dimension here from this back edge to that edge this is going to be 0 0.08 and this angle is going to be 41 and and um, this angle as well is going to be 41 this angle is going to be 41 and we are almost done we just need to add a couple of more stuff so the next dimension we need to add is um, from here let me close that from the top to this from the top face to this point is going to be 0.179 and again I'm definitely just changed out the three decimal places so you see what's going on click OK and the only thing we need to add is this dimension is going to be point, point zero six three and our sketch is fully defined and all we need to do is let me just verify something here to here okay it's right so the next thing we need to do is just add a dimension to this just to fully define it so you have something like that and now all we need to do is extrude it extrude cut I'm going to extrude cut um, through all on this side and direction through true or on direction two and click OK. So you get something like that on the inside. And the next thing we need to do is just add a fillet to it. So we want to add a fillet um, to this face. So let's click on the fillet. And it's going to be 0 0.03. I want to add it to this edge, to that edge, to this edge and that edge something like that and click OK and let me make sure did I put point zero three yes I did and the next fillet we need to add is to the outside edge and that's going to be point zero one click OK and add that to this edge and click OK and that will be it save this part as a retention pin and i will see you in the next tutorial bye